What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Planes, Trains, and Comic Books channel. My name is Matt, and today we're going to review King Spawn number one. Before we get into that, if you guys wouldn't mind like, sharing, subscribing, all that good stuff, it really helps me out and lets me know what you guys want to see more content of. So uh, with that being said, let's get straight into it. All right, so here we got the cover of King Spawn number one. This is the digital edition. Of course, there are many covers of this book, all pretty awesome. So check those ones out. We see uh, Sean Lewis is the main writer on this, but uh, Todd McFarlane helped uh, write the dialogue on the main story. And then I guess Todd McFarlane did the script and plots for the uh, extra stories that are in the back of this, because this is an oversized issue. And then you have all the artists here. Uh, Javi Fernandez did King Spawn. Steven Segovia did Haunt, Marcio Takara did Nightmare, Philip Tan did The Hero, and Brett Booth did The Gunslinger. So we start off here on the first page, and uh, we get, it's like a, a, a kid's classroom, like a kindergarten, where the teacher is asking the kids, hey, has, does anyone know what the Bible is? Have you read the Bible? Which seems a bit odd in a kindergarten class, uh, unless this is like a Christian school or something. And uh, he gets his phone out, and he, he does something on it. And then the kids are like, hey, your, your phone's beeping, or there's a beeping noise. And he's like, don't worry, kids, it'll be fine. Uh, now, let me read you this, uh, this little passage. And then the whole building explodes. We get a school bombing on the, <laughs> the first two pages of this book. It is very, uh, it is very uh, big opening, let's put it that way. So after the explosion has happened, uh, there, you know, there's like a memorial there at the site, maybe like a couple days after. And uh, Spawn actually finds this little piece of paper in the in the in the in the rubble so it's like a, a clue and then him and she spawn go to the funeral of the kids and like sit in the back of the graveyard and they're just talking about like you know why is this happening and she spawns very much like why is this happening you know because humans suck and everything and spawns like no this is not an accident someone's trying to draw me out specifically they're trying to send a message to me so spawn has mark his like oracle kind of tech guy he's been telling him oh yeah look for shadow players who are non-humans uh, in this world and then spawn says you know he knows it's this it's not just some human because he found that uh thing in the rubble that piece of paper and he says uh it's called a sigil and that symbol tells the whole prophecy of what the person behind this is planning and then she says oh have you deciphered it and he's like oh i gotta i haven't figured it all but i, I know who i can ask so spawn is actually worried that there's going to be another attack because he knows this is like a terrorist group i'm not exactly sure who's in charge of it but I feel like they're trying to get my attention and they're going to attack again. So he can feel the clock ticking, he says, and he knows a, a someone who he can go ask about that sigil who can decipher it for him. So we see there's a guy on the phone and he's talking to a senator and basically he's telling the senator exactly what to say about this school blowing up. And it's not a good thing. He's saying, you will tell them, you know, the school teacher was a law abiding citizen and, a inspirational, and an inspiration for others to model themselves from. Your heart breaks for the loss of the children but you're considering forming a new committee into school safety. That's a weird thing to say about the teacher who blew up a bunch of kids. Um, and then we find out basically this dude is an angel named Raphael. He's an archangel. And this woman in that's in his, uh, in his office is a demon named Leviathan, Miss Leviathan, he calls her. So they're like a uh, weird pairing, you know, that's probably against the rules of a demon and an angel who uh, have sex. And as they're about to get busy, Spawn appears and he says, you know, hey, I need you to read this for me, Raphael. And he throws the sigil down to him. And then the the demon, Miss Eliath, and says, you don't have dominion here. And he throws her against the wall and he's like, I don't think so. I beg to differ. And so basically he just threatens to kill her if uh, Raphael here does not read the sigil to him. So basically he says Metatron is the person behind this. And, you know, Spawn's like, he's on Earth. It turns out Metatron, like everybody else, uh, a couple issues back, Spawn had closed the dead zones, and which are like gateways from hell and heaven into Earth. So people are trapped in there from both sides now on Earth. So they've kind of been fucking with each other and messing around, and hence these two. So now we know who this is, and they said basically he's uh, being propaganda. All, all these people online and social media, he's dictating it. So he's causing all these weird terrorist cells to pop up, uh, specifically around this verse. And I'm not sure why, but it's just because he's causing mayhem on Earth. We're, we're going to find out as Spawn goes to get him. So Spawn asks him, where is he? And he says, he's in New York where you were birthed. So now Spawn's going back to where he first came back to Earth as Spawn uh, in New York. We get to meet Metatron, who's this uh, hipster looking guy. <laughs> he's walking around and uh, 
having a grand old time in New York. And basically he scares this kid originally some homeless guy tries to get some change off of him. And, uh, he starts talking to him in, in the God language and he makes this homeless guy's head explode. And in the meantime, he's watching the explosion, like on his phone and everything. So spawn goes to confront Metatron and he's like, this is too easy. Obviously, you know, me coming down to where I was first born is a little too on the nose. So this has to be a trap. So he kicks open the door and I'm going to leave it here because this is like a big uh, reveal issue. There's a bunch of stuff in here. So um, there's actually two reveals at the end of this and I don't want to spoil either one. So I'm going to leave this here so I don't spoil too much of the issue. And that is King Spawn number one. I uh, I had a blast reading this. It was, it was a really good time. Um, at the after this uh, King Spawn issue, there's actually um, four or five other stories of, I guess, characters who are going to be in this King Spawn series. I liked all the stories in the issue. And the art was fantastic throughout the entire thing. I got to say, I'm really enjoying these Spawn issues since I got into Spawn with, uh, was it 318 or whatever it was? And then reading Spawn Universe. I've been keeping up with the issues monthly. And then this just came out. So i uh, been having fun with that. Been having fun going back and reading the back issues as well. So uh, now I am seemingly a, a growing Spawn fan. <laughs> so... Uh, yeah, we'll see. Uh, we'll see how this goes. Hopefully, it maintains its momentum. It seems like Todd McFarlane is doing a really good job keeping everything paced well, um, revealing like big, you know, characters or bad guys as um, he needs to to kind of keep the suspense happening. And um, and now it's just kind of tying it all together. I know in Spawn Universe there was the reveal of who that new bad guy is. This has the reveal of another bad guy. So I don't know if all the bad guys are going to team up or how this is all going to play out. Do they tie together? They must. Right. So we'll see uh, how all these come together. Um, but I really enjoyed this. It was really good. Like I said, the art's top notch on everything. And then um, specifically Brett Booth's gunslinger spawn is fantastic. I'm going to give this one a four out of five. If you are at all interested in the spawn uh, universe thing that's happening, definitely check this one out. I had a blast with that being said, we'll see you guys on the next one.